Pan Rosenborn Export, which is the Russian um, export company, which goes around violating international humanitarian law in various situations. In Syria, in Iraq, in Burma, etc. The very simple is to make a quick ruble. That's exactly what it is, make a quick ruble, without any regards to human lives. These sick people are the worst examples of post, post Soviet Russia, where, you, where, where, where anything can go just to make a quick buck. Just because you've been suppressed for 70 years after communism. You must, I mean, there is something called business and social ethics, okay? Corporate social responsibility is very important. As corporations, they need to understand that their actions do have consequences. I mean, I find it so ironic that these corporations can literally do whatever the hell they want. I mean, they tell us in kindergarten, okay, that you should play nice, respect others, uh, follow the rules. But these corporations don't. In fact, they try to make the rules. They hire all the, they pay off the best lawyers and politicians in multiple countries and multiple international organizations to uh, do things their way and impose their interests. Not what, they, not, what, not what the international community wants, or the people concerned wants, but what the corporation wants. And Rossborn Export is an example of an organization that doesn't respect the idea that human lives are actually worth more, human lives are actually worth more than a quick ruble. And that is the problem with a Rossborn Export. And, and the fact that Rossborn Export gets its, gets its support from Putin is just beyond ridiculous. Because, yes, I agree that the arms trade treaty should exist, because arms are a very important part of countries' defense. If you cannot defend your country, other people will, in fact, take, care, take over. I mean, you can look at Russian history. I, the Mongols, the Hitler, Napoleon, Sweden, and so on, Germany. But still, the idea that you sell arms like water is ridiculous. In fact, this issue was an issue I was uh, organizing back in October 2006 with my, one of my best friends of all time, Leon Ratz, who was at the time was Northeast, uh, who was New Jersey student coordinator for Amnesty International. And his big issue, his still big issue, is arms. He's an expert on arms. Both of us are political science majors, but he is the arms expert. I'm the Africa expert, he's the arms expert. And, um, and so I know from this issue. The, and the arms trade treaty, I ran around New York City like a chicken cut of his head in various embassies, various consulates to the UN, our various issues, Cape Verde, Belarus, Democratic Republic of Congo, Mali, Somalia, and what's interesting is we can look at these countries, right? Democratic Republic of Congo, that's a war, that's a country at war. Sem uh, Mali was, was a country at war. Somalia is obviously a country at war. And, what the, and these countries have a native interest in putting an end to the arms tree, arm, the, the sale of arms like water that uh, destroys their countries. It's time that these countries and the arms trade treaty, which I was forced, is enforced to make sure these arms are not complicit in, in mutilation, rape, torture, genocide, slave and apartheid that is being sold around the world. That these people need to have a conscience and need to stop it. And it's time that the international organizations, the United Nations, the European Union, the African Union, the Association of American States, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, uh, uh, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, uh, Federation International Droid uh, Interpol, Europol, and everybody else put an end to this irresponsible trade of arms because it's a life and death matter. And Ross Bourne Export should be truly investigated for, uh, for its violations of both domestic Russian law and international law abroad. Because selling ar arms are not, well, are not our water. Arms are a lethal product that needs to be regulated. And, if you, and if you don't, just look at Russian history if you don't believe me.